Hey everyone, this is just going to be a quick follow-up to my previous video on the hopper clock. A couple of people had asked how you could turn it into a timer instead of a clock, and it's a really simple modification. You can just build it the same as my last video, but omit the left-hand side here, and your input is going to be to either of these two blocks, and your output will be this comparator here. So what will happen is when you activate this button, it will turn on the output, it will send all of the items from this hopper into this one, and then all of them back again, and when that finally empties, it will turn this output off. So if we watch that, we'll see this hopper will receive all of the items, then they'll disappear again, and then the output will turn off. So again, the number of items you put into this right-hand hopper will control how long the output will stay on, it's uh, 0 0.8 seconds per item, so a maximum of 256 seconds if you filled up the whole thing. And this could be quite useful for any time you want to keep an output on for longer than a button push, uh, especially if you want a long, a long um, pulse, like say you wanted to keep a door open for a long time, or you wanted to turn on a water stream with some pistons to, for an automatic farm for a long period of time and then have it shut off automatically. Uh, be quite useful for that. But yeah, anyway, hopefully this is helpful to some people. And until next time, catch you later.